Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about a big mistake that you might be making with React Context and Next.js. And it doesn't have to be only React Context, it could be any global state provider. For example, the theme provider from the UI framework you might be using, or some auth provider from an auth library and so on. In my previous video, I have talked about Next.js component composition where I've mentioned all the components are going to be server component by default in Next.js. And server component doesn't support React context, any kind of state, or any kind of React hooks. So when you want to add React context to your Next.js app, you would go to the layout.js file, because layout.js is the root component for our entire app. And this is why you might want to add your global state provider, like the React context, like the code here and it just won't work. And you'll see this kind of error. You are importing a component that needs context. It only works with client component. No parent is marked with use client. So they are server components by default. To prevent this error, what you will do is you will add a use client directive like this to make the layout component a client component and it will start working. And now you don't have the error. But that is a very big mistake. And the reason is that all the components that is children of a client component are going to be treated as a client component. So this is a block from my previous video. You can see this is our React tree and the green nodes are server component, red ones are client component. And over here we have a client component and all the children of this parent are going to be treated as a client component even if you don't use the use client directive on those component files. So if you make the layout component a client component, which is the root component of our app, then all the components are going to be a client component. But if you make the layout component a client component, which is the root of our entire app, then all of the components on our Next.js app will be a client component. And since client component comes with JavaScript, it will increase our bundle size and affect our performance. So don't make your layout component a client component. But how do we then add our React context provider or any kind of global state provider to our entire app? So let me show you how. It is actually pretty simple to do. You just need to create a separate file and make that file a client component. So let's do that. So I'll create a provider.jsx file. Here, let's add a use client directive. Let's add our context. And let's create a component. Let's create a state. And then return context.provider. And we will pass the count and set count method to the value and then add our children and close the context provider. And let's also export the context. Now we can go to our layout.js file and remove this context provider and add our own provider. Actually, this should go inside of our body. Now we shouldn't have any kind of error and you see we don't have the error so it should be working. Now here even though this provider component, our client component and this children is going to be our entire app which are going to be server components, still all those components are not going to be our client component because we are passing our entire app as a prop to this provider client component. And that's why Next.js won't make all of our component our client component. As you can see, the provider component is taking a children prop. And this doesn't have to be only the children prop, it can be any prop. I've also talked about this in my previous video where you can pass server component as a prop to the client component. So this is how you can set up React context or any kind of global state provider. So that's it for today. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments if you were already making this mistake in Next.js. You can also check out my previous video about component composition. 
The link will be on the description. You can follow me on LinkedIn or Twitter as Taranjun. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.